Once again, because my last two high effort videos completely flopped, I bring you a tutorial video yet again because it might actually make me some money. This is how you use your phone as a PS5 controller. First, we're gonna set things up on the PS5. For that, go into settings, system, remote play, enable remote play and then turn on remote play on the accounts you want for me i have it enabled on both accounts now go to the app store on your android or ios phone or tablet and search for remote play and download this app right here i already have it downloaded so i'm just gonna open it now when you first open it up it's gonna ask you to sign into your playstation account so just do that for me i've already done it so I'm just gonna continue with the rest of the process. It's time for us to select the device we want to pair to. So in our case, we're gonna select PS5 and then it will start connecting to your PlayStation 5. Now your device is connected to the PS5 and you can see the controls on screen. As you can see, it works perfectly fine in both orientations. So let me show you that it actually works in games as well. Here we have Spider-Man 2 and you can see that I'm using my Android device to control it. Now how well this works depends on your internet connection. I recommend connecting both your Android or iOS device to the same network as your PS5. In my case it works without zero noticeable latency. Another perk of this is that you can now play co-op games without having to actually own another PS5 controller. If I get the DualSense controller and connect it to the PS5 right now, I can use it as a controller for the second player. This means that the phone will be the controller for player 1 and the dual sense will be the controller for player 2. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. As always, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.